Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting in my daily reps. What's up, guys? Nate here. Welcome back to Brick Tech. Uh, today I'm got this set right here. This is the Miles Morales mech, the Lego Marvel Miles Morales mech set, set number seven six one seven one. It's a very very good set. It looks like uh, it's very the the webbing, everything is good about it. The minifigure is really good, as you can see here. I've already built it. Uh. I want. I got this set because I really, really, really wanted a Miles Morales minifigure because he's my, he's by far my favorite Spider-Man. He's not my favorite Web Warrior. Spider Gwen is my favorite Web Warrior, but my favorite Spider-Man is Miles Morales. But in at fit for fifteen dollars, it, re it retails for twenty dollars. That's not that bad a price, but I got it for fifteen at a local Dollar General. For but for twenty, is a it's a pretty very very good value in my opinion, and I love how it comes with this um really long web and you can position it put attach it to his hand and like position his fingers like it's doing that right there. It's a really very very nice um addition. But uh, let's start the, let's start the review. Here's a 360 view of this set. It's a very, very, very good set, in my opinion. It has some very nice build techniques, a lot of really good detailing, which is hard to get at this scale, at just at this size. There are a few, few details I think are a bit excessive, but you can judge that for yourself with this review. That's why I'm doing it. Uh, the minifigure itself is very, very good. The mech build is just flawless and I love the uh, printing on the chest plate that is like his suit it's very very good here's the mech in idle mode it's pretty simple uh, all you do is just take away the webbing and reposition the ball joints to where it's just standing one feature of this set though you can pull this open and pop this guy out and that and he falls over but anyway, that brings us to our first and final minifigure. Here is the Miles Morales minifigure. This is not your average Miles Morales minifigure. As you can see, he's also wearing a hoodie, pants, and shoes over his suit with the Spider-Man, with his Spider-Man uh, mask logo on the back. So this is what it what he looked like in Into the Spider-Verse on the What's Up Danger scene. He was wearing the hoodie, not just the suit. Then, in, in the scene afterwards, in the final battle, he took the hoodie off. To put the minifigure inside the mech, all you do, stick him right in there and make sure his legs are around that bar part and close him up. One thing I did forget to mention with the minifigure is it also comes with a hand adapter for the web. So you can either have the, the minifigure shooting the web or the mech can be shooting the web. Here's a scene every Spider-Man fan loves seeing is the upside down web hang. It was so hard to get this shot. The only thing is, the only, the way he's standing up is he's got his hand holding him up. But that's the cool thing about this set is that he can actually balance on one hand. So if he wants to break dance, he can. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting in my daily reps. Here's another really cool pose you can get, and it's like he's flying through the air about to shoot another web. He also comes with a web shield attached to his left hand. And he has a pair of web handcuffs right here attached to the back that can be clipped onto a minifigure's hands. All in all, guys, this is a really, really good set. I definitely recommend it. Uh, 20 bucks pretty good price for what you get I mean all these web accessories this really really good build for the mech plus the main figure alone I'd, I'd be willing to pay at least five dollars for it's a really really good set all around but that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up make sure you like subscribe and hit the notification bell all down in the description below and I'll see you next time on Brick Tech bye bye